can you just allow me repeat it here once again is you know what no matter how hard no matter the negative narrative being spread over the duke and duchess of sussex won't stop them from looking forward and just wanting to keep going it will never ever stop them we learned it very well that you know what the reason as to why they decided to stay focused and this was also a lesson learned from uh, the one and only tyler perry is that you don't have to look at the negativity you don't have to listen to what people say simply because once you are focused and looking forward and when you just twist your head and look backwards that's where people drag you behind that's why your mentality is dragged backwards once people make you feel as if whatever you're doing is right trust me you you just need to keep pushing as long as you have a circle of friends who genuinely believe in you and trust in what you are doing and are so much supportive of you just keep looking forward those are some of the factors that harry and megan have put into consideration to get to where they are now if they were to look at the negativity or just the backlash of each and everything being stated about them, trust me, they won't have made it this far. The hat campaign over the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is just something else on another level. We all can attest to this. We saw the trolling, the intrusion, the bullying that Harry and Meghan had to undergo. It was so, so serious. It's something that no one would have even withstand that pressure what they are doing and what they think maybe by them doing this is going to kind of drain harry and megan down trust me it's never going to happen i'm speaking about the one and only jb news whereby the only good thing they know about it's just to speak ill and negative about the duke and duchess of sussex most especially having made their target and they have made it clear that they truly hate duchess megan there's one thing they also need to understand. The hat they, they have that they have over her affects no one. They can just continue throwing, just giving out words that they feel is best for their audience just to be able to gather clicks simply because that's what they want. I'm so sorry for them simply because they only want to see Harry and Meghan's downfall and trust me you it's never happening anytime soon. And today I want to take you through an article that was written today by the Jubineers and uh, the saying about how Angela Levin of what he's saying and that if Duchess Meghan would be giving out a speech to Harry's Invictus game that the, the whole statement that he will be saying it will be ironic. How? Harry and Meghan do things genuinely. They do things with no intentions of pleasing anyone out here. But they do things from the bottom of their heart. And kindly you just allow me to take you through the article. It goes ahead and says, Megan is under fire for an ironic message she is set to deliver as she prepares to join Prince Harry at the Invectors game. Megan will join Harry in Dusseldorf for the multi-event sport event which the Duke of Sussex founded in 2014. According to the biographer Angela Levine, Megan is set to deliver a personal message to the wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women who will be competing at the event. Levin believes that the Duchess will focus on the message of courage and resilience, something she said is ironic. That's the, that's her perspective. But one thing we know, Harry and Meghan do things genuinely. They do things from the heart. They do things not only to impress people, but they do things that they know and they see they are of much benefit to both people and also them. And Harry and Meghan love what they are doing. Love assisting people within the society, within the community. Meghan is going to be there, Levin said. She is going to speak to the veterans about courage and resilience. I quote, I thought that was quite ironic because she represents neither of those things. It comes after the Duke of Sussex gave fans a teaser of his upcoming Netflix documentary centered around the games. The trailer of Heart of Invictus saw Harry speaking about his experience of setting up the initiative and developed into his relationship with veterans. One notable absentee from the video was his wife, 
Megan. But it remains unclear as to whether she is. She will be missing from the show itself. According to Levine, Harry came across more like his former self in the teaser for the upcoming series. And I quote, this was an advert for the series and he stuck me more like Harry I knew in 2017 when I was writing his biography, she told JB News. And I quote, he was brilliant with the soldiers who were damaged mentally and physically. They said he would, given such which had to live. I said to him, do you use this as a way of helping you with your own mental health issues? I thought he would throw me out. He waited about a minute to answer and he said, you are right, it does help. I just wonder if he is coming out of pit he has been and he is becoming more like a man himself. He is in a very bad, miserable state. He was happy before, but he isn't now. A camera crew for the project joined Harry and Meghan when they visited the Gums in the Hague of the Netherlands in 2020. The series Wilch was first announced more than two years ago has been made by Harry and Meghan's actual production company. It is directed by Orland and produced by John, who worked together on the Oscar winning shot The White Helmets. Harry is set to travel to Germany for the next tournament, which begins in September 9th. The series is set to be released by the streaming giant on August 30th. Until Levine needs to understand, personally, I feel it has gotten to that point whereby she's edging. Maybe she's even just losing out her senses. Because she does everything for the sake of just PR. She does, I can call it cloud chasing at some point. She always tends to create something that is going to capture people's attention, knowing very well that whatever she is setting, 99.9% .9 are always lies, filled with just rumors and nothing more. It's so bad when people don't see the real Harry and Meghan, but tend to see the real Harry and Meghan in what these so-called royal commentators say, in what these so-called royal biographers, the royal insiders and staff say about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Yet these are people who have their own appearance. They know what they want and they tend to assist humanity when need be. Angela Levin is edging and I bet it's a high time she just sits down back at home and takes care of her grandkids. At her age, she's supposed to even be the one encouraging people within the, the society, not backlashing, not just saying words. She knows very well they are not true. Even though she was at some point, Harry's biographer doesn't explain a thing. Doesn't mean she knows Harry way more than any other person out here. Or maybe she, she can tell so much about Harry. It's so obvious that you know what Harry and Meghan had truly have haters out here. But there's one thing we learned. Once you see that you are hated so much, it really tells the person you are. It really explains that you are genuinely doing something right. It's just that the ones who are hating on you can't be able to get to that level of yours. And uh, just attack Megan for supporting the veterans, but not a single sound about William's failure to support the lionesses in Australia. They always tend to speak about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex issues, but don't utter a single word, whether positive or negative, to do with the current working royals who are not even doing their work. I pity them. They lost the real king and the real queen that they would have loved to see them serve them genuinely with a lot of intelligence and just each and everything just flowing automatically. So sorry for them, but they have lost. The loss is on them. I pity them so much. And for Angela Levine, for Juby News at large, they can continue with their spread of hate campaign over the sad success. We knowing very well that what they said are just nothing but lies felt with a lot of rumors within it. I don't know what you think about the same, but one thing I've said, GB News doesn't even require to have the news title at the end of it. It needs just a gossip title. They're only good at giving out gossips that don't add up at all. Just leave your comments down below. See you guys in our next podcast. Bye.